Yeah, um, I hope you don't mind, but these uh, these books are a bit overdue. Um, I don't normally use this library, so I um, forgot. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I forgot. Uh, I'm only, uh, I'm a student uh, at the university, but I can't always get what I want there. Um, shortage, you see, so sometimes I, uh, I come here. <laughs> so, um, is that okay? Not really. <laughs> Sorry. Well, they're overdue, aren't they? Uh, yeah, but I'll, I'll pay. I mean, I know I shouldn't have forgotten and everything, but I have my finals, you see, and I, uh, pardon? S sorry? Pardon for what? I mean, pardon with reference to your finals? You're assuming that I know what <coughs> that means. Uh, well, finals, I mean, uh, Final examinations for taking a degree. You know. Actually, I don't know. I'm afraid that, as I just said, you're being just a little too assuming. Typical of today's university generation, really. Thinking that everybody knows the technicalities of requiring a university degree. Just because the government has lowered the bar so that any Tom, Dick or Harry can get a qualification, <laughs> quite frankly these days, having a degree is about as much use as having a tattoo in this current economic climate. <laughs> so it doesn't mean that you can just assume that the average member of the population knows or even cares about your degree and simply come down to studies. <laughs> or whatever so-called academic discipline you're purporting to study. Oh. So, um, <laughs> so you didn't go to university then? No. No. And no. So you were a twinkle in your father's eye when I was the ripe old age of 16. I got on my bike and began to graft for a living. No qualifications twaddle for me. I was one of Thatcher's original YTS teenagers. Worked in kitchens, washed up the crockery of Birmingham's jet set, Birmingham's finest hotels. <laughs> Jet set, finest hotels in Birmingham. No need to be rude, sir. And although I never did make millions through hard work and grafting, I learned the value of a bit of elbow grease and cutting your cloth. Not like you student lot today. <laughs> I pay tax for the likes of you, and what do I get in exchange for that, eh? What lessons have you learned from your high flying education? You watch a few episodes of Dragon's Den or The Apprentice and you think you've got what it takes <coughs> to succeed. A snazzy suit from Hugo Boss for your 21st birthday and a half-day module on business strategy. Well, no, I, n I never. So you just walked in here with your hangover and your free the Bolivian tree goats t-shirt and you present <laughs> me with not just one but two books that are at least 24 hours over <laughs> Actually, uh, look, here's two quid. Uh, it surely can't be more than that. Uh, of course, I'll pay. It's my fault. Like I said, I, I just forgot. No excuses. Pardon? Ha! Just goes to show how ready you and you are for, for the real world. Sorry. Fine is eleven pounds thirty-two. <laughs> <laughs> you ask, it's cash only. We don't have the facilities, but credit card. <laughs> We're a community business organisation, you know. It's no frills here. What? That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, it can't be helped. I suppose you're used to whacking on a credit card for your oh-so-essential Renault Megane and your year off round the world trip. <laughs> you are more likely on your parents' credit card, but here you can't. As I said, we can't afford the facilities for such a transaction. No. Uh, I don't mean paying back out. I mean, I can't believe... That's, it's that much for two slightly overdue books, but I, I can't believe this. I thought it used to be about 25p a day per book. Oh, that. Well, we operate as a social enterprise now. Mm. Anyway, if you ask me, we should be charging at least £50 for this kind of flagrant abuse of <laughs> <in> public <laughs> library facilities. <laughs> and the volunteer management committee here, 
took a unanimous decision to hike the fine rate and to charge compound interest rates. <laughs> oh? <laughs> yes. You might know what compound interest is if you've done the old-fashioned O-level maths as opposed to getting get <laughs> a star GCSE for working out, where you no doubt learn to perform the kind of mathematical calculations that will prepare you for such essential trips in life to be able to estimate the probability that the on your elbow making it to the Christmas number one. <laughs> also, I see that you are studying biology. Ah, well, our management committee took the decision to charge a, f a further 30% for science students. <laughs> what? Oh, yes. It was based on recent research that, on average, you and your comrades will be earning roughly that amount more than those who don't obtain a science degree. It's what our community has decided the policy should be based on. Equitable, don't you think? Fair trade and all of that? I'm sure you'd approve of that. But that's outrageous. So that will be £14.71. <laughs> Bloody hell! I should have studied sociology after all. I can't freaking believe it. Merry bloody Christmas to you, mate. <laughs> well, all I can say is make sure you don't visit the library on a Wednesday, as that's the day that local Jehovah's Witnesses look after it for us, and they certainly wouldn't appreciate that kind of language, my friend. <laughs> I've already found Harry Potter, and I'm led to believe it will be a public burning of all Richard Dawkins' books. <laughs> <laughs>